The second conic section we shall talk about is the parabola with vertex at the origin. Did you know that when a ball is thrown into the air at an angle, the ball follows a path which is generally described in math as a parabola? The same shape of pathway is formed by dolphins when they jump off the surface of the water. A parabola is a set of all points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point called the focus to a fixed line called the directrix. So these points are all equidistant from the focus, which is the fixed point, to the directrix, which is the fixed line. Meaning, the distance from this point to the focus is the same with its distance from this point to the directrix. The line perpendicular to the directrix and passing through the focus is called the axis of symmetry. So this line is the axis of symmetry because it passes through the focus and perpendicular to the directrix. The vertex is the point where the parabola crosses its axis. This point is the vertex. And the cord that passes through the focus and perpendicular to the axis of symmetry is called the latus rectum. This pass through the focus and also perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. In this video, we will consider the parabola with vertex at the origin and either opening upward, opening downward, opening to the right, or opening to the left. So these are the four cases of parabola, upward, downward, right, or left. If the parabola opens upward or downward and the center is at the origin, the axis of symmetry is along the y-axis. But if the parabola opens right or left, the axis of symmetry is along the x-axis. This is the latus rectum of the parabola opening upward or downward. The direction is horizontal. But if the opening of the parabola is either right or left, the direction of the latus rectum is vertical. Ito siya. Ang focus, as you can see, ay nasa loob ni parabola. If the parabola opens upward, the focus is above the vertex. This one is the vertex at ito ang focus. If the parabola opens downward, the focus is below the vertex. If it is right, the focus must also be located to the right of the vertex. And if the parabola is opening to the left, the focus is to the left of the vertex. On the other hand, the directrix is horizontal if the parabola opens upward or downward. If the parabola opens upward, the directrix is below the vertex. Kung si focus ay above the vertex, si directrix ay below the vertex. Kung ano ang distance ni focus from the vertex, ganun din ang distance ni directrix from the vertex. And if the parabola opens downward, the directrix is above the vertex. Opposite sila ni focus. Kung si focus is below the vertex, si directrix is above the vertex. And if the opening of the parabola is either right or left, the directrix is vertical. If the opening of the parabola is to the right, the directrix is to the left of the vertex. And if the parabola opens to the left, the directrix is to the right of the vertex. So these are the kinds of parabola that we're gonna be dealing with. The characteristics of parabolas with vertex at the origin are summarized below. If the axis of symmetry of parabola is horizontal, meaning the parabola is either right or left, as you can see, kapag ang parabola opens right or left, the axis of symmetry is horizontal or along the x-axis. The equation is y squared equals 4px. Ito ang gagamitin nating equation kung si parabola opens right or left. But if the axis of symmetry is vertical, which means the parabola opens upward or downward, the equation is x squared equals 4py. As you can see, the equation of the parabola in standard position 
opening to the right or left, whose vertex is at the origin, is y squared equals 4px. It is quadratic in y. Pero kung ang opening ni parabola is either upward or downward, the equation is x squared equals 4py. It is quadratic in x naman. Again, if it is quadratic in y, the opening of the parabola is either right or left. But if the equation is quadratic in x, it's either upward or downward. At kung y dito, dito naman ay x. 4px. At kung x dito, dito naman ay y. 4py. So kung tanungin kayo kung anong parabola ito, given lamang ang equation, ay madali ninyo itong ma-identify. If the equation is quadratic in y, it's either right or left. But if the equation is quadratic in x, the parabola is either upward or downward. Now dito, kapag ang value ni p is greater than 0, the parabola opens to the right. But if p is less than 0, the parabola opens to the left. Similarly, kapag ang value ni p dito is greater than 0, the parabola opens upward. And if p is less than 0, the parabola opens downward. The focus is P0 if the parabola opens right or left. Nauuna ang value ni P kaysa kay 0 if the parabola opens right or left. Positive ang P kapag right siya at negative naman ang P if the parabola opens to the left. On the other hand, the focus is 0P if the parabola opens upward or downward. Dito naman, nauuna ang 0 kaysa kay P kapag ang parabola ay upward or downward. Kung positive dito ang P, meaning it's greater than 0, the parabola opens upward. At kung negative naman, it opens downward. Kaya 0 sila dito kasi ang vertex ay nasa origin. So kung ang value ni P ay positive, dalawa lang ang pagpipilian natin. It's either right or upward. Kapag right siya and the vertex is at the origin, nauunang value ni P kaysa kay 0. At kung upward, nauuna ang 0 bago ang value ni P. Kapag negative naman ang value ni P, it's either left or downward. Pero pag left, nauuna si P bago ang 0 at kung downward, nauuna ang 0 kaysa kay P. Remember that. Next is the latus rectum. The length of the latus rectum in all kinds of parabola is equal to the absolute value of 4p. So mapa right, left, upward, or downward, ang length ni latus rectum is the absolute value of 4p. But if the parabola opens right or left, the direction of the latus rectum is vertical. Ito siya. And the endpoints are p and negative 2p, and p and positive 2p. It is important to determine the endpoints of the parabola so that we can sketch the graph. On the other hand, if the parabola opens upward or downward, the latus rectum is horizontal. Ito siya. And the endpoints are negative 2p and p, and positive 2p and p. So, nag-switch lang ang value ni P and 2P. Sa right or left, laging nauuna ang value ni P, mapafocus or endpoints man ni latus rectum. Pag upward or downward, ang endpoints ni latus rectum, nauuna naman ang 2P bago ang P. Okay? And the equation of axis of symmetry is Y equals K if the parabola opens right or left. And it is along the x-axis. And if the parabola opens upward or downward, the equation is x equals h. And it is along the y-axis, which is here. The value of h and k can be found on the given vertex. Since the vertex is at the origin, 0, 0, the equation is either y equals 0 or x equals 0. Kapag quadratic dito si y, y din ang equation ng axis of symmetry. 
At kung x ang quadratic sa equation, x din ang equation dito. Just remember na kung y, ang partner niya ay k. At kung x naman ay h. So yun ang palatandaan natin kung y or x ang equation ni axis of symmetry. Tingnan lang natin ang equation if it's quadratic in y or x. Kapag y, y din dito. At kung x, x din dito. At pagdating naman kay directrix, it's the opposite. Sa axis of symmetry, kung ano ang quadratic, yun yung palatandaan natin kung y or x ang equation ng axis of symmetry. Sa directrix, kabaliktaran. If it's quadratic in y, the equation of the directrix is x equals negative p. And if it's quadratic in x, the equation of the directrix is y equals negative p. Okay? Just also remember, kapag positive ang value ni p, negative ang value dito sa directrix. At kung negative, positive ang value dito sa directrix. Let us have some examples. 